Hey guys, so we're back with another, what do we call these? Uniform rundowns. <laughs> this time we're going to talk about what does it take to be a tanker? Right. <laughs> Other than doing a lot of tanking yes. regularly. Yes. yes, regular tanking is required. Yes. yes. So if you tank regularly, you can be a tanker. Yes. Just like John. <laughs> okay, John, okay. I've always wanted to say this, you are a tanker. Yeah. So tell us about the outfit though. Right, so the uniform I'm wearing is representative of the 3rd Armoured Division in World War II. Okay. This is an American Armoured Division. Uh, probably had about 800 to 900 tanks in its arsenal. So I'm still counting yeah. stitches here. Still counting so, stitches. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. This, this is the standard guard for all uh, tank crew during the Second World War. So we start off with the helmet. Uh, this is an M1938 tanker helmet. Uh, which, uh, do you want me to turn around? Yes, please, around? yeah. Turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. So I notice you've got built-in headphones. Built-in headphones for my intercom. And you've got a wire. Yep, got my wire. So With the old-fashioned jack plug on it, the they used to find the old telephone exchanges. <laughs> and that used to, that's probably made out of plastic in this, but that used to be made out of kind of a ceramic um, kind a of... Bakelite, a Bakelite. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the helmet you wear in the tank. It's only here to stop you pumping your head on stuff. It wouldn't stop shrapnel. It's not made out of metal. So the helmet's green. Yep. Um, like a standard US green? Is that the same a, shade of green as what the that's standard a, US? A dark olive drab. Dark olive drab. Dark olive drab. With a light tanny brown yep. on the edging of it then. Yep. Yeah, on a leather piece, yeah. Uh -huh. Moving on down we have the, the typical tanker jacket. Yep. Which is like a, a fairly nicely padded jacket with No, was it only the cuff. tankers that wore this jacket or was this a standard issue jacket throughout the rest of the, it was, the army? In, in the military it was called um, jacket winter issue. Yeah. Um, but the, the tankers were all issued with it. Yeah. Um, if uh, an infantryman happened to find one somewhere, you could wear it. Yeah. You could wear it. You could steal it and, yeah. and wear it. You see a lot of pictures of the uh, US Army Rangers wearing stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. So anyone that had access to it would wear it because it's yeah. a good jacket mm -hmm. anyway. It uh, has two pockets on the front, no other pockets. It has an, a darker green lining. Right. Uh, okay. Which is wool. And on uh -huh. the outside we have cotton. Yeah. It has a simple front zip up the front. Mm -hmm. So no buttons on the jacket. No buttons, it's all zip. Uh -huh. It's all zip and elasticated cuffs and collar. Okay, underneath the jacket you have the shirt. I'm wearing a typical US Army wool shirt. Was this a standard issue shirt? Standard issue shirt for, for, for anybody in US Army. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, now you're wearing a. I'm wearing a Colt 45 mm -hmm. on a shoulder holster. Uh, it's the no, how common was that among tankers to wear something very, like that? Yeah. Every, every tank crew member wore a sidearm mm -hmm. because they didn't have enough room in the tank to have rifles and other weapons. The tank would have had Thompsons and Breeze guns in it yeah. for your know, close-in support, but they never carried them, they never carried ammunition for them. Yeah. Um, so that's the shoulder holster, so 45. Brown leathers, brown leather, black buttons. I'm really counting even every individual button this time. So we've got <laughs> black buttons, brown leather, little yep. black metal pieces. Yep. Um, all right, right. Moving a bit further down, then, down, we have what's the the pistol belt? Yep. So this is a standard canvas belt. On the belt, I am, I have my ammunition pouch for the pistol. Mm -hmm. On the back of the belt, if I turn around, we have a small first aid kit. Yeah. That would be a bandage, a personal bandage. Mm -hmm. Again, it's make a nice money purse that. Absolutely, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's very stylish. Very stylish. Um, it's all just made out of sort of tan canvas. Yes. Um, and if you really want to get in there with a the fine detail brush, you've got black buckles and you've got the US stamp US on everything. Battery. Okay. Same on the belt. Down to the trousers. Down to the trousers. The green is slightly different on the trousers. It is, yes. This is what's called herringbone twill. Herringbone twill. It's like a denim material. Mm -hmm. uh, very light cotton trousers. Yeah. Uh, they came in this sort of shade of green, this sort of lighter olive drab. Um, so this was more of a summer issue uniform, but because it was light and easy to wear, the tankers used it a lot. Because they would have got quite warm in the oh, tank. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, would it have been warm in a tank even in winter? Yeah. No. No. Not, not, even when no. the tank was running in winter, it was incredibly cold anyway. Okay. But they had, um, like the, the jacket material, they had done the reason they wore it yeah. over their, their normal dress. So, so they had another layer over the top of the whole yeah. thing. Okay. Further down? Further down, we have. Well, before that, what? I just want to turn you around because there are pockets yep. and there are more buttons, little black buttons this time. Black buttons, two single pockets. Uh -huh. not, not like your normal trousers where you have two pockets and then two cargo pockets, it's just yeah. two cargo pockets. Um, moving down, we have the US Army Gators, mm -hmm. which are side buckled uh, with an elasticated lace or just a standard boot lace. 
and buckle down. And how common were gators among the likes of tankers? Tankers, not so much, um, because they found that the the laces would snag or yeah. anything like that. But uh, some of them did wear them just because it was simplicity. It was part of the uniform. What's a gator anyway. for? A gator when like a, 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 I remember back when I was a cadet, right? right? right. We had. I you think they were called putties. putties. Yes. And we yes. used to spend ages wrapping these stupid putties on. Yeah. And we asked what they were for, and they said, well, it was to stop you from getting bitten by snakes. But we live in Ireland. There <laughs> yeah. are no snakes in Ireland. So I don't, still to this day don't know why the hell I was putting on putties. Yeah. What's a gator for? Please don't, please tell me it's not for snakes. It's not for no. snakes. Okay, it's right. Not, okay, the, right. ga- the gator is for when you're running across a field, um, the likes of barbed wire entanglements or tree branches, that sort of stuff, stops your legs snagging on yeah. things. When they're worn properly... So it's they, like a shin guard. Yeah, when they're worn properly, they're quite tight. Yes. So they also stop you spraining your ankle when you're running across loose ground and that sort of yeah. stuff. So mm-hmm. it's like an ankle So support. it has a bit of a support? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but, modern, yeah, yeah. modern day gators are more or less, they're exactly the same, but they're there to keep the bottom. Another thing that they do is to stop the bottom of your trouser getting wet if you're running through yeah. mud or water or stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Putties were more or less the same. They yeah. were the same, okay. the same thing. So putties weren't, putties weren't for snakes? No, yeah. no, no they were not for snakes, no. <laughs> the crap I've been fed as a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down to the boots. Down now, to the boots. These are very different from the, the kind of uh, combat boots yeah. that I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. These are what's called the um, rough out boots. Yeah. These are suede boots, mm-hmm. brown suede. Um, they're that colour because you put a, a waterproof agent over it called dubbing. Yeah. So you dub the, the whole bit down, it becomes very flexible, very supple, very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, and the more you put on, the darker they get. So you will see issues where um, the boot will be pretty much black yeah. after an extended period of use. Underneath the boot, you have the strap for the bottom of the gator that holds it in place. Mm-hmm. You have a rubber sole that's nailed into place with a leather mid part as well. So yeah. it's black rubber. Dark brown boot. Now I can guarantee you, John Wayne didn't wear those boots because John Wayne had a, a, a tip for anybody that he met. If you were standing in a urinal beside John Wayne, as it could happen, John Wayne would say, "You know, my tip for everyone is don't wear your suede. When you pee on them, everybody can see it." <laughs> so there, that, there that's, that's yeah, what the right dubbing is for. Okay, <laughs> this is the tanker outfit. This is um, your basic tanker outfit. Yeah. We will be watching. Um, I believe. Uh, John's going to come in with uh, something slightly different uh, another day during the boot camp and we'll get a, a look at that but there you have it guys so if you're going to be painting any tankers that is what they could look like.